and workers at the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant are preparing for the typhoon. They've taken steps to stop leaks of radioactive water. The governor of Fukushima, Yuhei Sato, visited the plant. He urged the Tokyo Electric Power Company to manage the risk. TEPCO officials say they're adding tanks and workers. Stabilizing ropes have been attached to pumps and piping used to inject water into the plant's disabled reactors. Earlier this month, water breach barriers surrounding tanks storing radioactive water. The utility says it now has larger capacity tanks. That's in addition to the standard procedure of moving accumulated water behind barriers into nearby tanks. The company says it has more than 50 workers dedicated to the transfer of water. Matt Sampson here with Hurricane Specialist Carl Parker. Carl, a big typhoon now bearing down on Japan. Yeah, that's right. It is the equivalent of a Category 1 hurricane, and they're generally well prepared for these storms in Japan because they get a lot of them. But it's going to be headed right for Tokyo or maybe just a little to the east. That's a huge metro area, the largest metro area in the world. It's like New York and Los Angeles combined. And then on top of that, there's a very sensitive location just to the north of Tokyo. That's right. Our users have been following the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant disaster for two years now. Now. Really an amazing, sad story out of there. Yeah. Now, there's a possibility that storm surge could affect them. Yeah, they are still working very hard to contain the radiation. They don't want it to get into the groundwater. So if you add storm surge, and there could be some significant storm surge, although the storm will be weakening at that time, along with inland flooding, because there's going to be very heavy rain, then they're going to be looking at the possibility of something getting worse there at the facility. So hopefully that does not happen. All right, Carl, thank you. Yep.